Fozzy Audio ZA3 and AIMA A07 Max are arguably the most popular and uh, hyped Class D amps recently. So when I saw AIMA on sale for $50, I decided to pull the trigger on it and uh, make a direct comparison between the two. And uh, now I'm ready to share my findings with you. Hi, I'm Superman, I mean Greg. Welcome back to the world of uh, Totally Normcore audio gear reviews. Here we focus on amps, speakers, DACs and everything else that reproduces music from the standpoint of a regular guy like myself. So if you want to join us, uh, hit that subscribe button now. I mean now. Yes, thank you. And let's get back to the battle of uh, affordable Class D amps. Let's get ready to rumble! On paper, those two boys are almost exactly the same. They're both, uh, of course, Class D amps with the same amp chip TPA 2355. No, 3255. They have uh, similar power ratings. Uh, signal to note ratios, total harmonic distortion ratio, ratios and uh, all this stuff that you can check on uh, their website. They both have uh, swappable op amps which is more or less like uh, tube rolling for solid state amps. You can connect subwoofers to both of them and I guess what made them popular is uh, that they can both operate in stereo and mono mode so you can use them as mono blocks of course if you have uh, two pieces each and now for the differences fuzzy audio is uh, almost uh, twice the size of uh, the aima it also looks like uh, there was much more thought put in the design of uh, the fuzzy audio it's uh, in my opinion, more stylish with uh, orange accents uh, like the volume knob and uh, the side vents. But for the audio is also uh, almost twice as expensive as AIMA. This one starts with $69, while this one starts with $136 US dollars with uh, no power adapter. Uh, but when you add the power adapter, this one goes up to $90, while this one goes up to $160, and that's for a 48 volts, 5 uh, amps uh, power supply, because they both come with this type of uh, external power brick. In my opinion, Fuzzy is uh, built to a higher standard. They both come in aluminum chassis, but uh, the one of Fuzzy seems to be a bit thicker. Also, when you take a look inside, uh, you can see that uh, this has uh, much more glue left inside and uh, the parts are not uh, as nicely laid out as in this one. Of course, I couldn't help myself and uh, took those two apart and I made a mistake of uh, unscrewing much more screws than needed in uh, this one and if you're into op amp switching you're gonna have to open it anyway if you want to take it apart you just uh, take out this uh, volume knob undo those two screws on the bottom and uh, just those two screws on the sides but remember not to undo all those uh, little screws i did it and now I can't, as you can probably see, I can't like screw them back in place. So I, I will probably have to go to my neighbor and borrow some more tools. AIMA also heats up much more than Fuzzy Audio. It's probably because it's uh, smaller so the parts are much tighter inside and there is uh, less room for air to circulate and to cool it down. AIMA, oh sorry, Fozzy has uh, more of those vents and it also has thermal paste uh, inside between the chip and uh, the external 
chassis that also acts as a heatsink. Another difference is that uh, Fozzy Audio has uh, two analog inputs, uh, balanced XLRs and uh, single-ended RCAs. And it has a rocker switch uh, in front, so you can switch between uh, single-ended and XLR. It means that uh, you can connect two sources of music, like uh, a balanced DAC in my case and the turntable, for example, and you can switch between the two easily. And uh, AIMA only has um, one single-ended RCA in, so you can only attach one source of music. And it also does not have uh, balanced uh, ins. And since the ZA3 has uh, balanced inputs, it means that you can uh, put it uh, at a much uh, greater distance from the music source or from your pre-amplifier. I put it, uh, when I used uh, it as monoblocks, of course two of, uh, of these, I put them directly underneath the speakers and was able to have a very short uh, speaker cable from the amp uh, to the speaker, which means uh, less interference and uh, marginally better sound. What I also like more in the Fozzy is that it has a 12 volt uh, trigger input so uh, if your preamp for example has a trigger out you don't have to switch this on separately it just switches on automatically when you switch on the, the preamp but i think aima has slightly better speaker binding posts uh, they both accept uh, all kinds of uh, plugs, bananas, spades or bare wires, but AIMA's posts are slightly bigger. Uh, I hope you can see this. And they are also uh, slanted, so it's easier to manage your speaker, cal uh, speaker cables, especially if they are thick and uh, not very flexible. And now for the most important part, which are the sonic differences between the two. When I tested those units, I used uh, Duke Audio VU3 Pro switch and also Duke Audio Q11 DAC because it has uh, two sets of uh, signal outputs. So I could connect it directly to both amplifiers and just use the switch to, to switch between two different amplifiers. And when it comes to speakers, I used uh, two different pairs. Worthdale Lintons, which are slightly warmer in tone, but also uh, bigger speakers. And uh, ELAC W2.0B6s, which are smaller bookshelf speakers, and they are more revealing and brighter than, than Lintons. And while the sound stage, the three dimensionality, the depth, the height, uh, the instrument separation, etc., were exactly the same in case of both amps, at least to my ears. I was surprised that I was able to consistently hear the sonic difference between those two amps in terms of their sound signature. Fuzzy Audio, in my opinion, has a slightly richer bass. It makes the, the whole sound a bit fuller in comparison to the AIMA. And when listening to female vocals like, for example, Adele in Skyfall, I noticed that uh, AIMA is slightly more sibilant there than uh, Fuzzy Audio. Sibilance means that those S sounds are a bit more pronounced and uh, annoying, at least to me. So in this respect, uh, I like the sound that was coming out from uh, Fuzzy Audio more. Overall, I think that uh, Fuzzy Audio ZA3 is a more grown-up amplifier than AIMA AO7 Max. 
I liked its sonic si signature better and I also like the fact that it has uh, two signal inputs so it's a bit more versatile but if you're on a tight budget and uh, balanced inputs are not a problem for you AIMA AO7 Max will also be a great choice because it's uh, almost half the price of the Fozzy Audio and the sonic difference is minuscule. And if you want to soften the sound of any of those affordable class D amps and need more connections, you have to watch uh, this review of a $30 tube preamp that stole my heart recently.